Hi, in this video we're going to look at different ways of representing a relationship between quantities. Uh, so what I've done is I've written out some ways in, uh, in advance here, and we'll go through and we'll kind of just name each one. Um, so all of these are ways of representing the same relationship, and it's a relationship between the number of toppings you get on your pizza and how much the pizza costs. So here's the first way. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just a sentence. A medium pizza costs $12 plus $3 per topping. Right, so this is just, I'd say, a written description of the relationship. So a written description. Um, and I actually gave two examples of written descriptions because I thought they looked pretty different from each other. And they both uh, have value, they sort of emphasize different things. So here's another uh, written description. The cost for zero toppings is $12. As the number of toppings increases by one, the total cost increases by three. Um, so this really sort of emphasizes how the quantities change together. So if you get more toppings, your total cost is increasing. I think that's the emphasis of this one. All right, so here's the third method here. Um, and this is just a graph showing uh, the relationship. Um, so we have the number of toppings N, the total cost C in dollars, and we've got points representing, well, for one topping, it costs this much, for three toppings, it costs this much, and so on. All right, over here, here's another method, and this is the table of values. And sometimes people just call it a table, sometimes people call it a T table or a chart. Um, but what it is, is it, um, there's two titles, the number of toppings, which we call N, and the total cost. And then the number here for zero toppings, it goes with that number there for $12. Uh, $12. So it shows the relationship with different examples here. For example, three toppings cost $21. So these uh, values in the table are actually exactly the same as the values I chose to put on the graph. I think it shows you different things. This really shows you more precisely how much does it cost for two toppings, where here you could kind of tell it was between 15 and 20, you didn't know exactly how much it was. But here it really gives you a nice idea of the pattern of how things are increasing. All right, this right here, these are called ordered pairs. Now, so what it is, is here we have the first value in the table was zero toppings, $12. And that's what this is, zero toppings, $12. These are also the coordinates of the point zero, 12 over here. Um, and each of these lines in the table corresponds to one ordered pair. So an ordered pair is two numbers, a pair, and it's ordered, it's really important um, that they be in the correct order. All right, and then here's an another way of representing a relationship is with an equation. And in this case, the cost of the pizza, C, is equal to $12, that's how much it is just for a plain pizza, plus three times the number of toppings, because each topping is $3. All right, so here are um, five or six, depending on how you count, different ways of representing the same relationship. And each of them is useful. Each of them sort of emphasizes a different aspect of the relationship. Uh, and uh, one of the ways that you can learn about relationships between quantities is by um, representing the relationships different ways and changing from one, one representation to another. All right, thanks and good luck.